So for task three, uh, first of all, he gives that the post rate of 20 random people. The 20 is x here, okay? So, and this is the table of the numbers for the post rate for the 20 people. Okay, so for A, construct the normal distribution of the data with sigma value. These are the sigma value. So what we will do is, I have write all the pulse rate here, okay? Uh, and then I sum it. I found the probability for each one probability again is this over the total number and then I found the mean which is x the pulse rate multiplied by the probability and then I sum all these numbers to find the mean then x minus mu x again is the pulse rate so x minus the mu which is 71.7 .7. and here we will power this number and here after we found this um, for this we will multiply this by the probability okay and when you will find all these number you can sum it again to find the variance and then you have to square root and you will find the standard deviation. Uh, it is the same schedule as the one for task one. Okay. So then you will go to make a stat probability normal distribution and you write the mean equals this standard deviation equals Thus, here we will enter equal the mean again, the same number. Okay, keep it lower and okay. Okay, so here you have uh, the graph, and first he have asked for to write the sigmas. So here you will write the mean, which is seventy one point seven. Yes. And the standard deviation is 4.88, so almost 4.9. So here, each time, we will add 4.9. So 71.7 plus 4.9 will give us 76.6. .6. Here, again, you will add over this number, the number of the standard deviation, which is 4.9. So 76.6 plus 4.9 which is 81.5 and again you will add 4.9 and it will give us 86.4 here you will subtract so 71.7 minus 4.9 which is 66.8 then you will minus again 4.9 and we will have 61.9 again 61.9 minus 4.9 which is the standard deviation it will give us 37 this is for part a and a question b he asked us to use megastat to find Pulse rate to be greater than 59. So we will go to make a stat probability normal distribution again greater than how much 59. So we will write here 59 the mean again and standard deviation 4.9. And because it is greater than, so we will use upper, okay? So
so again okay and here is the answer for b okay uh, for c oops for c they ask they ask to find the pulse rate to be less than 85 less than 85 again we will go to excel make a stat normal distribution 85 but this time we will choose lower because it is less than and okay so this is the graph and this is the answer this is the answer so c oh okay d find the probability between 52 and 82 so what we will do as in excel make a start normal distribution I break up the numbers okay just 52 82 okay so 32 okay so here either you will take lower or upper it is uh, up to you okay so okay so this is the graph for 52 now make a start normal distribution 82 overlay yes again i will choose lower uh, they should be the same so again either both lower or both are upper so okay okay so here we have two values one when x is 52 and one when x is 82 now you will do equal to find the answer you will do equal thus minus this one and this is this will be the answer for part d